Welcome back to the bluegrass. It's a beautiful March afternoon. Uh, I'm out uh, trying to spread a little grass seed, aerate the yard, and get these dogs to get along. So we have Taji, a Central Asian Shepherd, and of course he's been doing some black lab therapy. And if you'll remember from the other videos, this is Hank, our Catahoula Leopard Dog, and he didn't used to like Taji. And he's still, <laughs> he's still not super keen on Taji, but they're learning to get along. Uh, now, like, uh, started to make this video a little earlier and this is how the dog business works is uh, things are always breaking okay so I accidentally tore up my aerator and I uh, had to beat and bang on it to get it so I could take it back up to the shed uh, and while I'm doing all that guys that's where the real dog training is happening okay like uh, I could you know I'll show you maybe in another video that Taji's obedience on the leash is coming along I can get him to sit and stay and you know we're just starting to develop a good repertoire uh, in terms of uh, formal like obedience cues. But what does that really have to do with life? Uh, almost nothing. You know, what has to do with life is whether or not I can fully integrate the dogs into my work day, or, or maybe for you guys who watch my channel, your leisure day. I don't know what you're up to. Okay, but I got a lot of stuff to do, okay? And I got a lot of dogs here. And so I need to know that if something goes wrong, these two ain't gonna try to kill each other, okay? And so, like any kind of party, you try to, you know, you try to have a party where everybody gets along, which is why I have so many Labrador Retrievers. But, uh, you know, there's always somebody at a party that doesn't like somebody else. And that's okay. You know, as long as we can get them to be polite. If we can get them to be polite, then maybe they'll develop a nice little friendship. Maybe they won't, but at least it won't mess up the party. Uh, or, in my case, the work day. Okay. So I have, to, I have to get this little drag on here and finish... Uh, getting this uh, grass seed covered. And for that to happen, I need to be able to focus on what I'm doing and have, you know, at least a, a good degree of confidence that the dogs aren't gonna be getting themselves in too much trouble. And uh, <laughs> look, so far, so good. I don't wanna jinx it though. Hey, listen, I do not need your help. Dude. <laughs> now sometimes not being friendly is a problem and sometimes being a little bit too much too friendly is a problem so we can see that with old mr no name here Okay, now we should be in pretty good shape uh, until we start the four-wheeler and get to moving. And when we get to moving, a lot of times the noise and the, the movement will stimulate dogs and you can have, you know, a little bit of conflict as relate to the dogs being uh, overstimulated. So we're going to see if that happens. Hank is a big four-wheeler chaser. He loves to, he loves to hang out and chase the four-wheeler. Okay, back up there, cameraman, so I can get my tires. And it's gonna be our big test. They've been getting along pretty good most of the time. But once we go to dragging, then it might be a little different. And there'll be a couple of factors in play. Number one, Hank, might get a little bit excited and his labs might get a little excited uh, and start moving around maybe barking which you know could cause Taji to get excited but number two I'm up on the four-wheeler and if I'm on the four-wheeler then you know the dogs know that I can't really address their actions super fast you know all right we'll see if this works
Dodgy, come on! Come on, Dodgy! Come on. Good dogs. dogs. They're good dogs. Hey, what are you doing? Well, come on if you want to up here. Come on. Okay, come on. <laughs> Get up there. Uh, oh boy, Dodgy. You're a good dog. Come on, come on. We're good dogs. You a good dog? Oh, you a good dog, and you're a good dog, and you're a good dog, and you're a good dog. Come on, Dodgy, come on, dude. Hey, Dodgy, come on! What a good boy! You're a very smart boy. You're a very good dog. You're a very good dog.
back up there. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> I do realize that that was not the most exciting video that I've ever made, okay? And some of you are even going to think that it wasn't a very informative video. And I'm going to, you know, by the time you get to this point, I will have already went back and cut out some of the boring parts. It took me a long time to do the whole yard. But what I want you to do is I want you to notice, okay, that all these dogs are like muddy. They all been running along with the four wheeler, but we can spot some differences, okay? Uh, number one, who stayed with me the whole time? The Catahoula, okay? The Catahoula has a, an energy profile that's uh, distinctly different, even from say a field bred lab. A, a dog has a, just a, an unbelievable amount of endurance, okay? You saw Taji come up and hang out with the four-wheeler some, come investigate the dog some, but you kept noticing that he would just kind of go sit down on top of the hill and look around, okay? Because that kind of goes with the type of dog he is. These Catahoulas, they're bred to run livestock or to run game animals and to run all day, okay? These labs, they're bred to run a little bit, but mainly in short bursts, and so you'll notice they tagged along, but they didn't quite stay with me as, as, as good as Hank. Uh, and the biggest dog here, he's not bred to move a lot. He's bred to kind of hang out and watch and spring into action when he needs to, okay? So uh, there's actually a lot to learn in this video if you'll take use, uh, if you'll make use of just the, the video footage itself, okay? Because a lot of times, you know, like people talk a lot in dog videos, but what's really important is what the dogs are doing. Okay, so you can go back and watch that stuff, and uh, uh, I'm pretty happy that Taji and Hank got along for the most part. Now, uh, I don't know if I caught it on camera or not, but a few times uh, Taji would get a little too close to the four-wheeler, or right here when I was talking, you saw Taji got a little too close to Hank, and Hank kind of bowed up at him. And a lot of people in the other video had asked me, hey, Stoney, why are you not correcting Hank whenever he does that? Look guys, I have a lot of work to do. I have a life to live. I can't be out here micromanaging dogs that I know are gonna learn how to get along, okay? And that's the art of dog training. I can't help it because you or some other dog trainer that you watch on YouTube doesn't know when dogs are gonna be able to learn to sort things out amongst themselves, okay? But uh, don't be so quick to judge me and what I do because you're gonna see in each of these videos that I show you that there's steady progress towards my end goal, which is simply to be able to integrate this group of dogs into my lifestyle and my work activities. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you next week. Very good dogs.